The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. An ischemic stroke is a disruption of blood flow to the part of the brain that can create neurologic deficits abruptly. Various things can happen during an ischemic stroke based upon the territory of brain that is affected by the lack of blood flow. For instance, people can have difficulties with speaking, difficulty comprehending, difficulty with vision, People can have numbness or tingling of one side of their body, or they can have weakness of one side of their body. Other symptoms can include severe vertigo, which is dizziness, balance difficulty, or even nausea and vomiting. Some people can have headaches that can be a sign of stroke. Sometimes those uh, severe headaches can be associated with is ischemic strokes or hemorrhagic strokes, which is bleeding in the brain. Recognition of a stroke is very important. Uh, early recognition is uh, extremely important so that a patient can receive the appropriate medical care uh, acutely. One acronym that I use is FAST, Face, Arm, Speech, Time. F stands for face. If there's facial weakness or decreased strength in someone's face, that can be a symptom and sign of a stroke. A stands for arm. You have the individual lift their arms, and if there's a drift or weakness in one arm, then that can be a sign of a stroke as well. S stands for speech. Is the speech slurred, or the, do they have difficulty speaking? That can also be a sign of a stroke. T stands for time. The importance is time. Early recognition is very important. Early detection is very important, and calling 911 is equally important when someone's having an acute stroke. These are the symptoms that one can look for in a family member or friend and then institute 911, calling the paramedics and immediate transportation to the emergency room is vital. Treatments for acute ischemic stroke can vary based upon the individual. If people get to the emergency room in a timely fashion after the onset of their symptoms, we can administer medications that could potentially substantially help someone that is suffering an acute ischemic stroke. One of those medications is called TPA. Only a certain percentage of patients are uh, candidates for TPA. Uh, it is very important to get to the emergency room as quickly as possible in order to be a candidate for this medication. The other thing that we know about TPA is the earlier it's given, in the course of an acute ischemic stroke, the more effective it is at helping people recover from their stroke better as opposed to not receiving the medication. It's very important to present to the emergency room very quickly after the onset of symptoms. There are several different risk factors that we uh, think about uh, in terms of a ischemic stroke in people. Some of those risk factors are what we call non-modifiable risk factors. These include how old somebody is, what gender they are, their race, their family history, and if they've had any previous medical history of heart disease or peripheral vascular disease. There are other risk factors that we consider modifiable risk factors. These include cigarette smoking, heavy alcohol consumption, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, being overweight or obese, those are all modifiable risk factors for ischemic stroke. We hope you'll join us soon for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 
to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.